Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of No Huddle with Zach Arnd. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Northwestern Wildcats. Pat Fitzgerald going in the year 17. We're going to give a quick preview into the 2022 college football season. Offensive coordinator Mike Blanche again. Defensive coordinator Jim O'Neill. Some key players returning. Ida Bora. I probably said that wrong. I apologize. He's their top, top pass rusher. Seven and a half career sacks. Four and a half last year with eight and a half tackles for loss as well. Peter Skaronski, left tackle, one of the best left tackles in, in the Big Ten. He was all Big Ten last year, projected first round pick heading into 2022. He's probably going to be a first or second team All-American if I had to predict. Evan Hall, the running back, he ran for over a thousand yards, five and a half average with seven touchdowns. Some key losses. Chris Burgeon, the linebacker, second team All Big Ten. He's been a three year starter. He led the FBS last year with nearly 12 tackles per game. And he had more than thir- he had 30 more tackles than anyone else on Northwestern. Brandon Joseph, one of the best safeties in college football. He transferred to Notre Dame. He was an All American last season. He also had three interceptions last year as well. Steven Robinson Jr., wide receiver, he transferred to Kansas. He had 46 catches and 625 receiving yards in 2021. They signed two four-stars in the 2022 recruiting class. Reggie Florima, wide receiver out of Illinois. Anto Saka, edge rusher out of Towson, Maryland. Looking at the depth chart, Malik Washington, the senior wide receiver, is returning. Last year he had 578 yards with two touchdowns. Bryce Kurtz and Jacob Gill, I think they'll be the other starting wide receivers. Donnie Navarro the third, Donnie Gray and Raymond Nero the third make up the wide receiving core. Offensive line, they return Peter Skaronski, Josh Preeb, Charlie Schmidt, and Ethan Weider- Weiderkir. I probably said that wrong, I apologize. So they have four returning starters on the offensive line. Vince Picozzi, probably going to be the starting right guard. They also have Dom... D'Antonio and Bren Rather challenging for that starting spot. Quarterback Ryan Holinsky and Brendan Sullivan. Ryan Holinsky last year, he threw for 978 yards, three touchdowns, and four interceptions. Running back Evan Hall, I already mentioned he ran for over a thousand yards. Cam Porter, he got injured last season. He's going to be in the mix again. Fifteen over to the defensive side of the ball. Tayshawn Holmes, Jason Gold Jr., Sean McLaughlin. And Xander Mueller, some new guys that are going to be stepping in. They return starter Bryce Gallagher at linebacker. Wendell Davis will be stepping in there. They also have senior backup Khalid Jones, who's going to get some playing time this season. Looking at corner, they return both their starting corners, Cameron Mitchell and A.J. Hampton Jr., so that's a bright spot for Northwestern. They lose safety Brandon Joseph. I expect Jaheem Joseph to step in there and take the starting spot. They also have Trent Carrington, who could also be the starter. Coco Azima, he's going to be the starter opposite of whoever gets the free safety spot. Last season, Northwestern ranked 114th in all offensive efficiency. Explosive plays generated, they were ranked 120th. Finishing drives, they were 126. Turnover margin, they were minus 6, which was good for 106 in the country. The only offensive stat they were top five, top 100 in was 82nd nationally for rushing yards per game. They were top 50 in passing yards allowed on defense at 46th, and they allowed 216 passing yards per game. Those stats were good for a 3 and 9 record in 2021, 1 and 8 in the Big Ten. That solo Big Ten win coming against Rutgers. Looking ahead to 2022, I have Northwestern going 3 and 9. I don't think they'll win a game in the Big Ten simply because they, they don't play Rutgers this year. That was the only team they beat a season ago. Really one of the only teams that they really were competitive with. Iowa, they lost by five. But besides that, none of the games were really all that close in the Big Ten. So they start out with Nebraska and Ireland. I've been losing that. ACC matchup against Duke. They lost to Duke by seven last year. They get them at home. In 2022, I have Northwestern winning that game. Southern Illinois, I have Northwestern winning that as well. Miami, Ohio, also a Northwestern win. 
Then I have them losing the rest of these games at Penn State, Wisconsin, at Maryland, at Iowa, Ohio State, at Minnesota, at Purdue, and Illinois. Really, I only see two games here that they're going to have a good chance in being competitive, maybe pulling off the win. At Minnesota, it's on the road. That's going to be a tough one, but they could be competitive in that game. They get Illinois at home. I'm a little bit higher on Illinois in 2022 than I am Northwestern, which ultimately led me to picking the fighting Illini. So in Pat, in Pat Fitzgerald's 17th season at Northwestern, I think the Wildcats are going to go 3-9 in 2022. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.